Hello, welcome to Do It Yourself with Wayne. Today I'm going to show you how to sharpen a pair of scissors. Uh, the thing you got to remember about scissors is they don't cut like a knife. Uh, a knife blade is sharpened on both sides. You got to get a nice clean edge there for it to cut work well, but you know it works with a slicing action. Scissors work entirely different. Uh, obviously there's two blades with a pair of scissors and instead of a slicing action they cut with a shearing action. If you look at a pair of scissors, the back side of the blade is completely flat. There's no bevel here on the back side. The two sides that come together is completely flat. You only sharpen the front edge that already has a little bit of a bevel. If you sharpen the back side, the flat side, you pretty much render that pair of scissors useless. They won't cut well. You got to have that squared off back side on both shears in order to get that good shearing action with the pair of scissors. Uh, as we move forward here, I'll show you how to do that. Thank you. And now here we are. We're getting ready to sharpen this, uh, these, this pair of scissors. Uh, this is my stone. It's a wet rock. This was my dad's. Um, it looked about like that when I was a real young fella. Uh, I couldn't begin to tell you how many knives and scissors this stone has sharpened. If you buy a good stone, it can last you a lifetime. Uh, if you buy a cheap stone, it'll probably still work, and it'll probably still work for a long time. Uh, I'm not going to recommend any particular knife sharpeners or knife stones. I would recommend you don't spend a lot of money on one. You don't need to spend a lot of money here. Uh, you can if you want to. You can buy electric knife sharpeners. You can buy all kind of whiz-bang things. But a good stone will do what you need to do. It'll do it very well, and it'll last you pretty much your lifetime. Um, but anyway, to get started, this is our scissors, and most scissors will come apart in one way or another. This particular pair comes apart very easily. Being kitchen shears, they wanted it to come apart easily so you could put the two parts in the dishwasher. That's what I'm guessing anyway. Um, but most scissors will have a screw here. You take that screw out to take the two pieces apart. Now if you happen to come across a pair of scissors that you can't take apart, and there are some like that, you can still sharpen them. What you do is you just pull them back all the way like that and as I'm getting ready to show you how to do it you just hold it on the stone and do this with the two pair of uh, shears still together just pull as far apart as you can get them. Now in this case they will come apart so I'm going to show you a little bit more about scissors and how they work. Now what I was talking about earlier if you can see this flat side you can probably see a little bit better now it's completely flat there's no bevel or anything on this side. Never sharpen that side of the scissors. You will ruin the shearing action of that pair of scissors and they will never cut good again unless you really grind them down a lot. And that's not good for the scissors either. Now this side, if you look at it, this part out here is flat. This here has a bevel, but there's a second bevel most of the time, which is out here, which is your actual bevel to the edge of the, the, uh, the shear and that's the bevel that you want to match on your stone when you're sharpening it. So what you want to do is turn that bevel down to the stone and usually if you just kind of rock it back and forth a little bit you can feel where that bevel what where until that bevel is flat against the stone and that's the angle that you want as you work your your shear against the stone. Just work it slow circular motions Okay, you may need to do this a little bit to get all the, the length of the, the blade or the shear, but just just work it like this. And it may take a while depending on how dull your scissors or your shears are. But after you get through and you're happy or you think you're good, a quick thing to look at is you look at the edge of the blade with a bright light. Now, if you can see this, right there, there's a little bit of glare on the blade. That tells me that that spot right there is not sharp. But most of the edge, you don't see anything like that. Now, another way you can tell if the scissors are sharp, and you ladies probably won't want to do this, but the guys won't care, you use your fingernail. If you take that blade at an angle like this, if it will slide on your fingernail, it's not good and sharp. Now see right there is that dull spot. See how it slides on my fingernail? I get away from that and it just digs right in. See how it digs right in? 
I get that where that little bit of a glare on the blade. It's not good and sharp there. But that's a good way to tell if you got a good edge on your shear. You do both shears that way. Uh, when you get through, feel the back edge, rubbing your finger across but away from the shearing edge. And very lightly, don't put any pressure here, but you're feeling to see if there's a burr on there. Sometimes when you're sharpening, a little bit of the metal will get rolled over to the back side and that makes a burr. You don't want that. If you feel a burr on the back side, take your sear again, put it on your stone, and just pull it towards you. Don't do the rotating method. Just pull it straight towards you. You do that a few times, and usually that burr will go away. Uh, and that's how you get the edge sharp. You do that to both pieces. You put them back together. And typically, they work real good after that. I could have never cut that when I started. So that basically is how you sharpen a pair of scissors. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment below. Um, we don't have a lot of DIY videos right now. We're just getting started. We would really appreciate it if you would help us by uh, liking our videos and by subscribing to our channel. It would help us immensely and we would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, please you know, use the comments below to, uh, you know, to ask your questions or make your comments and we'll do our best to answer them in a timely fashion. Uh, this is Wayne with Do It Yourself with Wayne. We thank you for visiting our channel.